appreciate the performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw stretches of. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy. It was, and because you clicked on this video, hit that subscribe button and drop a like below. All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys the easiest, the easiest way to earn shooting badges in NBA 2K20. Now, I highly suggest this video for people that don't have any shooting badges at all or for people that do not have different shots, which should be majority of the people in the 2K community right now, unless you're a super tryhard. But majority of the people shouldn't have uh, difficult shots. Majority probably have like quick draw if I'm correct. But this is the easiest way to earn shooting badges. It's very simple. I haven't seen many people discuss this method on YouTube. But it's easy. You call for an ISO. You set it. You get the screen. You run around the screen. You drive to the paint and try to get a foul. Because at the end of the day, the easiest thing to do is shoot a free throw at this point in the game. Because nobody has badges. You're trying to get a badge. So the easiest thing to do first is to get to the paint, get fouled, and make your free throws. On Hall of Fame, it's easier to get fouled. Right now, this clip... These clips are from me playing on pro difficulty. So I finished at the rim a lot because I was trying to see which which um difficulty was best. I, um, I missed a lot of shots, like layups, because with this method, you can work on finishing and you can work on shooting. I missed a lot of shots in the Hall of Fame, but I got to the line more. So if you try to do both at the same time, then cool. If you're not, then just, I would say, go to Hall of Fame. You're bound, you're gonna get fouled more and you're gonna go to the line. I got 17 free throw shots up in a Hall of Fame game and that thing, that bumped me up like 2,000 points. Easy, right? So after, after you keep getting fouled and you get your first shooting badge, make sure you get difficult shots because that's part two of it. So make sure as soon as you get your first shooting upgrade, or if you already got other shooting badges, make sure your next one is difficult shots. Now that you have difficult shots, it should be easier for you to shoot off the dribble shots, as in pull-up jumpers, leaning jumpers, whatever, okay? It should be easier for you to make this shot. So now, the same method as before, you ISO, you set a screen, but instead, this time, you ISO and you set a screen at the wing, then you run towards the corner and shoot a leaning shot. Now, you're not going to make every shot. Let's, I'm going to say this right now. You're not going to make every shot, okay? But you have a higher chance of making it with difficult shots and by shooting in the corner. And then, after you get your net shooting upgrade, you should probably get Ranger Standard or get whatever you want. But this method... I feel like it's the best method to earn shooting badges easier because with this method, you are using what you can right now to get easier shots. Send a screen. So make sure you go to a team that got a good big man that can set you a screen. If you can't, if you're not already there, request a trade. Call the ISO, set the screen, go run to the corner and lean and shoot a three now that you got difficult shots. And boom, there you go. And just keep constantly repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating every time you play a my career game. Now that you're done with that and you're at the end of the my career game, at the end of every single my career game, they ask you, do you want to go to team practice? Take your butt to team practice, go to the shooting tab, and go through the free throw shooting. And don't stop, okay? Because this, listen, you don't have to do the rest of those shooting drills. All you got to do is shoot. And free throw, the free throw um training gives you the most it gives you 750 if you get three stars now if you don't know how to shoot a free throw or you messed up your build and then put your free throw up that's your fault you better figure it out so you can get these badges okay but look you get four drills so if you do four times 750 that's three thousand extra three thousand extra points towards your badges so do not skip out on team practice at all it doesn't take that long to do it's very helpful and it's very very easy 
Okay, so make sure you after you pray after your game you go do those drills. If you have any better tips, let me know down in the comment section below. If this video helped you out, drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Why not? You get what I'm saying? We on the ground in 7K. Was nation or no nation? You feel me? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. They say this is a big rich town. I just come from the poet's part. Bright light city life, I gotta make